Hi, welcome to video tutorial number 19, Simple Drawing Using the LCD. And those of you who have made it all the way to video tutorial number 19 know one thing about my tutorials. All right, well, let's get started. Let's pull a new patcher up and make it full size here. And we're going to work today with the LCD object. The LCD object is the simplest um, drawing object for Max. So underneath the UI objects, you can find it. It has a little pencil in it. There it is. I'll zoom in so you can get a good look at it. That's what it looks like. You can drag one of those out there or do as I do, which is click right over here, type N for a new object and type LCD inside there. And there it is. The LCD, as soon as you click anywhere else or hit return, it shows up and you can resize it so you can look at it better. Now, um, LCD comes preloaded with um, the ability to track the mouse and paint with it. So let's lock our patcher and draw a beautiful drawing. of uh, who's that who's that guy uh, Kilroy I guess it doesn't really look like Kilroy but there it is all right so you've made your great drawing and now you can't really do anything else except draw more so sooner or later this guy will have a full head of hair or something maybe a mustache but if you don't like the mustache there's nothing you can do so let's figure out how to um, do different things with this window so let's unlock it and make a new message type the word clear in your message just type an M to get a message by the way and then you can start typing clear right away and you can connect that to there and with great sadness we lock the patcher and test clear and our masterpiece is gone but we can make another more beautiful one. Okay, you get the idea. Looking a different direction. Okay, that's some pretty advanced drawing. I'll just clear that. You get the idea. Um, some other things that you can do with a simple LCD. You can send it another message. Uh, whoops, unlock your patcher type M, you got a message there, and type pen size. And pen size needs two arguments about, in pixels, how big the pen is. Strangely, they have to be the same. So 10 and 10 will give you a pen size of 10. I do not know why. And I have tried putting 10, 100, and it was still 10. So it seems to be more... Um, sensitive to the first number. Okay, so here we go. Woo! Look at that! A nice thick, thick, thick line. Okay, and we can use clear and get rid of it. What else do we like to do? Um, well, if we could control that number, it would be nice. So um, we can t uh, unlock your patcher, type another message, and type F R. G, B, and that means foreground RGB color and LCD, the object LCG, the object LCD needs color in the RGB format, which goes three numbers between 0 and 255 that um, relatively mean red, then green, then blue. So let's make something mostly red, 255. Uh, half green, uh, 125. And very little blue, 25. And we'll uh, send that in there and see if it works. Okay, so here's our pen size 1010, working. Now we'll try to change the foreground color 
click. Hey, look at that. Whoops, I realized that this might be awfully close to an aggie color, but I just uh, it was just a guess. So take no offense, please. Great. So we can change the foreground color. What about the background color? You could probably already guess. We can send it another message. M B R G B background red, green, blue. And if we wanted to make it white, we could say 255, 255, 255. If we wanted to make it black, we could say 0, 0, 0. And look at that, nothing happened. The reason that nothing happened is because clear essentially sets the background color, it, it puts it over the screen. It takes whatever the background color is and puts it in front of everything else. This makes a lot of sense later when I show you something else, but so for the moment the only way to get this background color of 000, zero, zero is then to clear the screen. So watch when we hit clear. Amazing, we get black. And now we can draw still. Um, oh yeah, it's not quite the right season, but you get the idea. Okay, fabulous. Um, so it can the LCD can also draw shapes. Um, well, actually, let me show you something else. Since we've got background color working here. Um, Let's duplicate our background color and move it over here. And for this one, we'll type four numbers, which is the red. So we're going to put 200 worth of red, uh, 200 worth of green. So it's starting to sound a lot like yellow. Um, and uh, 50 blue just to make it sort of beige-ish and then we're going to type another number in that'll be the opacity, the alpha number between 0 and 255. 255 would be completely opaque and that's the default number so let's type in something less, let's just say 50. Okay and now when we hit clear something strange happens. Hit clear again. Ah, very interesting. So what it's doing is putting down a transparent color because it's only 50 out of 255. So each time I hit clear it puts another layer of trans of background which is sort of misnamed for this. Um, essentially takes the whole thing and lays um, this yellowish color over it in degrees and then we can uh, write with our pen a little bit and uh, if we had another color for the pen that would be interesting uh, I could do that in a minute then we can go back to our black background if you see what I mean here the black round background is completely opaque so it immediately covers this up if we change the background color to this now and hit clear and then we can draw some more and hit clear some more and draw some more just thought I'd point that out in case anybody has some kooky ideas about you know making things fade into the distance or something like that okay so clear white no black okay whatever um, so there's some basic things that we can do um, with the LCD. It can also draw shapes and there's a slightly different format for that. Um, with the LCD you have you start at the top corner with a this is X, this is your X axis across the top and this is your Y axis down this way so you start up here at 0, 0 and as your X gets greater and greater and greater, and I'm going to guess that this is about, I don't know, 300 pixels, you'd end up over here. And as Y gets greater, 
you come down, 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 down until you get to about, hmm, it's probably, what, 240 pixels until um, you get to the bottom. So 0, 0, um, by my estimations, 150 and 120, and then 300 and 240. So that's how XY is described on this. Why am I telling you this? Because when we draw things like a rectangle, what we do, unlock your patcher, and we're going to make another message, type the letter M, and we're going to say paint, oh, look at that, it already did it, paint rectangle, and then we'll put a space, and we'll say 10, and 10, and now I'm going to try to see how my guess was again. Uh, 150, 120. Okay, so if I estimated even close to it, this should be there should be a top corner somewhere around here, and the other corner should be somewhere around here. This could be wildly off. I have no idea, but I'll connect it, and we'll see. It will also be in the foreground color, whatever that happens to be at the moment. So here we go. Hey, look at that. All right, so this thing's really, if that's 150, this is really more like a 400 pixel by 300 pixel screen, let's say. But there it is. And uh, there we go. Um, and um, there's a bunch of other things that we can, um, shapes that we can draw that are fairly simple. And you can find all these on the help file, by the way. Uh, just option click right on the thing and there it is look frame rectangle paint rectangle line segments frame oval paint oval I'll just go over these I'll just go over one or two very quickly and now you know where to find them um, the other message that um, we like to use is frame and that essentially if you're uh, mean means um, what do they call it in Photoshop? You either fill something or you stroke. It's like stroke on the outside. So now we could frame the rectangle, but let's just go for a different shape. What the heck? Um, we'll go for an ellipse. I think I spelled it wrong. Frame. Oval, sorry, not ellipse. Frame oval oval and we'll make it uh, 200 240 and then uh, 300 and 280 so if I'm getting any better at estimating where these things are gonna show up this is going to be an empty oval that'll be in the bottom half of here because it's going to start at 200, 240, which should be somewhere near the middle and end somewhere down here. So it'll probably look like this. Let's just go ahead and try, lock the patcher. Hmm, that was close. Close enough. It's in, the, it's in the right quadrant. So that's how to make some simple, um, simple drawing things with the LCD and now you know I'm going to do it in the next video um, so I can break these into smaller pieces so once you can do these you can and look at the help file where you can find lots of other nice shapes that you can make and what how to lay them out this is the background color front foreground color oval line segment etc. They're all there. So we'll make some tools to work with this in the next video and I'll see you there.